Welcome to Shortview Trading, your morning market hit for Tuesday, October the 20th. What matters today for traders? Well, markets are certainly on the move and what a fascinating trading session it was yesterday. Having looked pretty perky in the S&P 500 before it opened in its cash trading hours in the US, the market then sold off throughout the session with quite a swing with the market going from just shy of 3,500 to not much above 3,400 by the end of the day. So it was a wild session. It was pretty much a down day. And interesting with that negativity in the markets, it confirmed the downtrend that's been in place since Tuesday last week. And in, in particular, technically that was confirmed with lower lows and lower highs. And you can see that on the chart of the S&P 500 in front of you now. It was also the case in the NASDAQ, which led the weakness yesterday, tech and energy leading the weakness to the downside. And the NASDAQ 100 itself also putting in lower lows and lower highs over recent trading sessions and confirming that technical downtrend. But as highlighted yesterday, you want to ignore the narrative. Of course, the narrative yesterday morning was the market was up on fiscal stimulus talks and vaccine hoax. Ignore the narrative and focus on the risk appetite. And as Buffett said, in the long term, you want to be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when they're greedy. That works very much in the short term as well. Markets are driven by risk appetite. They're driven by fear and greed in the short term. And that's why we like measuring risk appetite and using them for market timing models. And indeed, as we've been showing you in recent trading sessions back on the 9th of October, our risk appetite model, our risk appetite scoring system, which you can see in front of you now, generated a sell signal. Of course, the market peaked one trading day later, the following Monday. Since then, we've been in a downtrend. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday last week, Friday was flat. Yesterday, weakness again. And the models, of course, with that are moving lower. But the key point is the models are not yet back on buy and the market's not yet fearful. And we see that in other models as well. A whole bunch of models have moved lower from sell levels, but are not yet back at buy, including, for example, the VIX RSI, short term RSI model, whereby we invert the oversold, overbought nature of the VIX. And it's quite a good indicator for buying and selling on a one to two week basis on the S&P 500. So for full details of how we're playing this market, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website. So what are we watching today? Well, various bits and pieces, US housing starts and permits come out today. More on that theme this week of how's US housing doing. It's of course, it's been very strong. We had the NAHB index out yesterday, which was also pretty perky. There's a number of central bank speakers from the Fed and the Bank of England. And then on top of that, of course, is the continuation of US third quarter earnings. Highlight today in particular will be Netflix. Added to which anything further on stimulus talks is of course interesting with day two of that 48 hour deadline that Pelosi gave the Trump administration. So whether or not there's a conclusion or another extension of the deadline will be watched closely. So that's it from us. That's your morning market hit for Tuesday, October the 20th. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube. Simply search under Short View Trading or follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Trade well.